So if you shoot black powder pistol and you go out to the range, you got to take your range box with you with all your supplies, powder, loading stand, so on and so forth. Mine weighs about 35 pounds, which means I got to lug it out there. Also, once in a while, I like to take a motorcycle, so it's kind of hard to take it with me. So what I did was I started rolling my own paper cartridges. Easy to do. Just rolling papers from the smoke shop, cheap ones piece of hollow plastic tube, adjustable powder measure, cornmeal for filler, round balls, powder, funnel, and a sponge. And this here, this I don't have to clean up the mess quite so bad. Okay, first thing you want to do is wet the gum on the rolling paper. Don't lick it, because by the time you get done with this you're going to be covered with lead dust and you really don't want to be lead poisoning yourself. Use a sponge, moisten the gum, stick your hollow tube in there, just rest it in the middle, set a round ball on top. Here comes the part that takes some manual dexterity. Roll her up. And twist the end over the ball. Okay, these loads I'll be using about 15 grains by volume of cornmeal filler. For no other reason than that they're being loaded for a Dragoon that holds 45 grains of powder and I'm not using 40 grains, I'm only going to use about 30. So 15 grains by volume cornmeal, down the funnel and in the tube. That one is ready for powder. Normally we'll do a half dozen or so of these before I put powder in them simply because I kind of get on a roll. So now we've got the ball and a little bit of filler in there. Still have an opening. Tube's gone. I'm going to take a 30 grain spout, 3F powder. I'm just going to add powder. Once that's in, I just tap it down a little bit to settle it. The rest is easy. Just take it and give it a twist. See, this goes pretty quickly. It is time consuming. But it pays off when you get to the range. Nice tight twist. Okay, when those are all done, we'll trim those ends off, make them nice and neat. Our final step is just to trim that tail of paper off there. Just nice and tight like that. have it. 454 round ball, about 15 grains of cornmeal filler and 30 grains of GoX 3F black powder ready to drop into the chamber of a Colts pattern second model Dragoon. When you drop this in and then stuff it in with a rammer, the paper will break, powder comes out. Real quick and easy way to load a black powder revolver. Okay, we're going to take those paper cartridges that we loaded up. We're going to fire them out of a second model Colts Pattern Dragoon. This one was made by ASM in the late 1970s. So we've got our paper cartridges. The idea is to have them of a narrow, narrower diameter than your, cartridge, than your chamber. You just slide right in. Ram her home. like a 19th century speed loader. That is if you don't count sitting at the dining room table rolling your own paper cartridges for an hour so that you can do this. So I am going to top the mouths of the chambers with just a little bit of Crisco here. This isn't for chain fire protection at all just for lubrication. You know, prevent a chain fire. The best way to do it is to have the proper, properly sized round balls and the properly sized nipples. All this does is just provide a little bit of lubrication for the gun. Some people say it's messy. It can be. 
but it's cheap and it's simple. Cap her up real quick here. There we go. Second model Colts Pattern Dragoon. Pretty quick and easy to load when you're using paper cartridges. Not bad. Nice part about it is I can do it again real quick.